Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. 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 The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, earlier this week, TLC premiered a new show called I Am Shauna Ray. Now, Shauna Ray is a 22-year-old woman who is trapped in the body of an 8-year-old. People really like her good sense of humor, and she just wants to be more independent. But she also talks about a multitude of things, because imagine who wants to date somebody like that. Here is Shauna Ray giving her background story on why she looks like she's 8 years old. I was born with a malignant glioma in my head. It was discovered at six months, and after battling and having surgery and battling chemo, I had an issue with my pituitary gland, which caused me to not grow. Like, I can't drive. I can't touch the ground when I sit. I have to climb things to get things. It is really hard to find clothes. I usually just go to random stores and look for anything that doesn't have, like, childish-looking, like, things on it. That's crazy. All right. In addition to that, she discusses what her dating life is like. Online dating is such a complicated process when you're different, especially when you're short and you look like a child. People are going to think it's like a catfish situation or you could get your account reported. It's a little complicated because I'm such a face-to-face person and I need to see how the person's reaction is and how they're reacting in public and everything. I honestly just want people to take away that no matter what you look like, we should be treated with respect because everyone has a story. Now she's, I want to see her. She's had some bad situations where you never know what people want and some people that are attracted to young people, children exactly, she said is an issue. And there's been times that she's attracted that, like super old, creepy guys, but they like little young girls. And you just showed me the pictures. I don't, like she can't go to a club because if you if you're a bouncer and you see her coming up and she goes, I'm you gonna 22, swear her ID fake. Like, nah, your ID's fake. Get out of here. If she goes to a bar or a restaurant, she orders because I can see her here drinking and smoke a hookah. I'm gonna, nobody gonna believe her about no, her nobody ID. Nobody gonna believe about her ID. And then no disrespect, but if she attracts a guy online, aren't you gonna think that's kind of like a pedophile? Because that's the it's sad because we live I mean? in a, we live in an era of perception. So she looks like a little girl even though she's not. And if you date her, you look like a pedophile even though you're not. So she probably gonna end up having to find someone with her same condition in order to ever find true love. Mm-hmm. All right. So and also the concept of the show is her, like I said, trying to be more independent because I guess her family won't loosen the reins. Yeah, because they probably always look at her as a little girl. But if you see, a, and it's probably got to tra- be traumatizing to constantly tell people I got a condition. You yeah. know what I mean? But could you imagine, like, because if she's driving, right, and you look over and you see... You're calling the driving, police. I'm calling but she the said police. she can't drive because I guess she can't reach the, you know, she said oh, she can't even drive. Oh, yeah. you're right, you're mm-hmm. right, you're right. Oh, even if you just see her wandering around late at night, you're like, hey, it's this little girl, little girl wandering, wandering around. around. Yeah. All right, now, That's Sidney wild. Poitier, we lost him uh, exactly, uh, you know, earlier this week, this past week. But it looks like Oprah and Apple had already started working on a documentary on his life. She'll be producing the movie through Harpo Productions, and Reginald Hudlin will be uh, also producing as well. So they've teamed up for this. The family is supporting in the project, and Reginald Hudlin is directing and producing. That's wild how that works, man. I be, I, I saw that with Sidney Poitier and uh, even with Betty White. Betty White's documentary comes out on her on birthday, birthday yeah. January 17th, when she turns 100. Yep. So if you don't think it's a beginning, a middle, and end to this thing, and it's already planned out by a higher power, you're crazy. I, I, just a quick question back to Shona Ray. Just a quick question. Uh, is there life expectancy a lot less because of that? Um, it's, I didn't see that yet. But it was oh. only the first episode that aired so far. And can so she have kids? That's on TLC. All right. All right, now Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet have announced that they are separating after four years of marriage. That's Aquaman, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. They announced a decision in a joint statement that was posted on social media. They started dating back in 2005, but they didn't get married until 2017. So they did have two children together as well. Now they posted, we have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times. A revolution is unfolding and our family is of no exception, feeling and growing from the seismic shifts occurring. And so we share our family news that we are parting ways in marriage. All That's right. horrible. Mm-hmm. And Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly are engaged. <laughs> so there's some good news. Megan Fox said in July of 2020, we sat under this uh, banyan tree. We asked for magic. We were oblivious to the pain we would face together in such a short, frenetic period of time, unaware of the work and sacrifices the relationship would require from us, but intoxicated off of the love and the karma somehow a year and a half later, having walked through hell together and having laughed more than I ever imagined possible, he asked me to marry him. And just as in every lifetime before this one, as in every lifetime that will follow, I said yes, and then we drank each other's blood. Huh? 
What happened now? That's how she ended it. Mm. They drink each other's blood. That's what she said in the post. I don't know if that's true. Oh, well, congratulations, Megan Fox and uh, mm. no, Machine Gun Kelly. Mm -hmm. Now, Machine Gun Kelly also posted as well. He said, I brought her back, you know, to that same tree to ask her to marry me. I know tradition is one ring, but I designed it with Stephen Webster to be two. The emerald, her birthstone, and the diamond, my birthstone, set on two magnetic bands of thorns that draw together as two halves of the same soul, forming the obscure heart that is our love. So congratulations to the two of them. Mm -hmm. And another relationship news, Keisha Cole says she is going on a no D detox in 2022. No alcohol, no penis, no smoking, and trying to drink a liter of water a day. Oh, and taking my vitamins every day. Oh, while maintaining no attitude. So Sounds you. positive to me. I respect it. A detox. Drop on the clues bonds with Keisha Cole. Also, too, I said that it would be horrible if... Uh, it's horrible that uh, Jason and Lisa got a divorce. No, it's actually horrible to stay in a situation that, you know, is no longer fulfilling you. That's what's horrible. All right. Well, that's your rumor report. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Now we got front page news next. Yes, and the Bronx Towers. We discussed this, uh, what happened with the fire. Well, now the owners of that tower have been hit with a $3 billion class action lawsuit over the fire that killed 17 people. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. 